and welcome to another very special Gundam Battle of Operation 2, this time featuring the Gundam Unit 5, which I completely kept calling it a GPO <laughs> in the match. I apologize, please forgive me for that. Um, this is a raid that starts at the B450 level. There is a BST version, or best as I like to call it, version of it, but we won't be covering that, we're going to be covering the classic, the original the Gatlin boy here and I gotta say this this is the utter of the trio of raids I think help get people involved there's GM guard there's this and there's another unit but that's a higher level unit so we'll be kind but this is another one I think that is good for people learning the game as a general rule and why is that well it's an all-arounder it has 16 on both ballistic and beam resistance 26 on um, melee resistance 30 range strength 20 melee strength 130 movement speed and its top speed is 200 with an okay thrust now what this makes this special is that yes you can either use a beam, uh, the hyper beam rifle, or a hyper bazooka. I would suggest, if you're new, use the bazooka, aim for the feet. If you're trying to get used to things, especially at this level, there's nothing wrong with learning the beam rifle that will serve you at the higher cost. We've got a standard beam saber, head Vulcans, the giant Gatlin cannon, the element at which I think this is what determines if someone's a newer player or a experienced player. A lot of newer players will plant their feet, pull the Gatling gun out, and they will fire it until it is empty and refuse to move. More experienced players will reposition frequently using it to basically harass or to push people off positions or to help team members, or really just make the freaking support despise them in every conceivable way. That's not necessarily saying you're a good or bad player, it's just saying that this is a unit that does teach over time the use of these weapons, and this is what I consider a very familiar, safe weapon that learn, teaches people repositioning and the use of when to fire at someone and when not and when to get the hell out of Dodge. And finally, the beam gun unit on the arm. It's um, it's there to annoy people. And of course, the shield. Now, it's got a very basic skills, high performance balancer, melee combo controller, maneuver armor, assault booster force injector, and a shield break stance mastery. As a whole, this unit, I think, it's sturdy, it's reliable, and most importantly, it's another doorway into learning a lot of the basics from range combats, um, repositioning, when to get involved in something, and when not to. It's a good learner suit that will help you learn the game and get more comfortable with multiple facets of the game. So, please join me in the match to come. Welcome to another Gundam Battle Operation 2. This is an interesting GP unit. Uh, it's one of the classics. Um, I haven't used this in a long time before I decided to, to pick this up and give it a go. go. But I do play it in a, a bit of an odd manner. I got the beam rifle, of course. And uh, we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and be zooming out. I'm trying to get ahead of my guys a little bit. But then I go, hey, you know, um, I'm just going to take it easy. Let these guys try to get into position. I see this guy up here. So take that, give him a little bit of that, and then I put this out. I think that's one of their supports. I think there's a second one, but I can't recall. So, bam, a little bit of that. I'm gonna come up here and fake him out with that, see if he'd charge, and he didn't. 
and search through my stuff, fumbling a bit because I don't remember where everything is. Bam, he's gone. So I'm going to switch back to my uh, the, uh, the Gatling gun. And I'm going to start using this to basically dissuade lightly uh, the other team from coming forward. A lot of people don't like to move forward and take damage, so you can see what I'm doing here. But I'm trying not to stick too long in one position. So I see what's going on over here with this uh, Silver Haze. So I'm just going to start giving him the business. I was hoping 3 would turn around a little bit sooner. And he dodges back. Now I'm going to make a mistake and go forward for the melee. But my controller said, no, you're not allowed to charge and counter him. And, well, that guy, he tried to get me with his heavy attack. But, you no know, boy, no there. Alright, so I'm throwing up some fire. My guys have managed to kind of put themselves in this position here. So I'm going to just try to dislodge him with the Gatling again. A lot of people do not like getting shot, so the one thing you'll notice is I try to change position and fire only when I'm actually uh, doing damage, or it will dissuade someone. And then I will quickly switch out of it and move forward. Uh, it's a good unit still, it's definitely a fantastic raid. I'd also say this is another good learner raid. There's the support, good on him, he's trying to stick it to me. Ooh, someone got me. And, well, it's starting to pop or pull their team apart. And as you can see, I'm, so I'm going to come over here, miss the support, miss again, shoot him there, then try to come up on him. And then I, oh, and my friend gets him. And so I just quickly switch target priority. I see two. Our support over here is having some trouble. So I come over here because I'm like, well... I'm not going to be able to reach whoever it is before they run away. Use the Gatling on them. The team's uh, over here starting to drop in again. So I get down because, you know, I don't necessarily want that dodge to shoot me in the face. Give him a little shot to say hello. He didn't miss me, so you know how life is. There's the support again. I honestly was not trying to pick on this poor support. But it is my job to deal with it. So, I'm coming around, I get this, and then I just go right into giving him a bad day. And then charge counter, because he kind of made it really obvious what he was gonna do. Just shoot him, just shoot him, and quite honestly, you know, I know the other guy is gonna come for me, so I'm kind of concerned about the support using his, uh, Instant stun. So, you know, got him. I'm gonna start working his uh, legs, and I counter him again because he's he's just making it a little too obvious. Get the damage in there, and then I'm just gonna break off that engagement and come over here to help my team. He's gone before I even got there, and this guy's still coming for me. Sometimes people get a little too uh, target fixated. And there's your support friend. Now I know I'm gonna die here because I'm low health and at range, but I'm like, well, I'll at least put the fire on him and let my Isaac be able to help out. So we already brought him under half health at the cost of 3,000 health on my unit. Not bad. Um, this was actually a fun match for uh, Arctic base. I usually don't have a good time in this map, um, and I get it all the time. But this is a common problem you can see. To the support, he's completely separated from the generals, but at least they noticed what's going on. And that support should have not come down, especially since he would have known I was going to end up responding at the base. Missed that. And I'm just going to keep trying to work this guy over, but he's not paying attention to me. Catch him up, knock him down. The Jet is a fun unit, by the way. But uh, I have a hard time playing it because it's good. <laughs> I joke, of course. Uh, I just decide not to chase him. We got other problems here. So 
I'm gonna move up in support of my team and oh here's the force support again I'm hoping he just goes away at this point but he's he's being stubborn and I, he doesn't have too many places to go so I'm gonna put some pressure on him and bam he's gone sadness I, I really don't like making people's lives hell and if I had the thrusters I would have countered that massive tail of an attack I'm just gonna get him honestly uh, as much trouble as the semi striker is I actually deem the silver haze a little bit more of a pain in the ass to deal with because it's instant knockdown so I come in he's putting up a heck of a fight I did call bullshit on his range there, but it was only a matter of time before I caught him. So this match was actually very fast paced, and I'm charging up because I want the stun. I'm gonna come up and get him there. That good old Federation downswing, am I right? And he's gone again. I, I'm, I swear I'm not trying to pick on him. But as we're winding down with the last step, a little bit less than a minute here we're heading back to the base and what you can see is this one of those units I think is a good trainer for raids especially as you get it to the higher pro levels because it has a lot of options it's got great melee it's quick and well you can do some work in this and I accidentally knocked my own guy down um, but one thing you're going to have to learn, is, and it's definitely a catch if you're new, is don't over connect to or commit to the Gatling gun. It can do damage, it seems safe, but use it as more of something to annoy or finish off targets. And here we go. Let's see how we did in the last few seconds. Alright, so let's see. Um, well, awesome. there, well, we get the sassy hip, and, well, the full scoreboard, heck, if I don't get first place, I'm upset, <laughs> uh, and first place, thank you for joining me, bye-bye.